Omaha's open door mission plans to make more room as the number of people experiencing homelessness grows. Thanks for joining us. I'm Quinicia Fraser. I'm Bill Shammer. Pandemic feedback led to the plans with the goal of helping the shelter better house and treat people. KETV Newswatch 7's Alex McLoon is live at the campus by the airport with the update. Yeah, Quinicia, Bill, plans here build more room for people and space for treatment services. The CEO says the growing homeless population in Omaha are people from the metro and surrounding states, some of them looking for jobs, and that demand here for help is higher than ever. Shelter CEO Candace Gregory leads the renovation to build a better system. We have outgrown. We are squished in like sardines. The campus is home to men, women, and families getting through the toughest times. This five-phase plan renovates existing buildings, builds on empty lots, and replaces the building where we're talking to the CEO. We learned a lot through COVID and the pandemic uh, about the people that we are serving, uh, about issues that were really mounting. Plans include a new hospitality center, renovated men's center, more than 100 rental units and transitional apartments, and an expanded Elkhorn donation and outreach center. We're just looking to the future. Post-COVID, how can we provide quality care? The shelter offers more than 900 beds here every night. The metro area continuum of care for the homeless says about 2,000 people are homeless in the city. Right now, the open door mission can only fit about half of the metro's unhoused homeless population. Plans say development may be to blame for growing homelessness and intolerance. The former W. Dale Clark Library was a familiar place to stay before becoming the site of a new skyscraper. Open Door Mission CEO says the plans help deliver more mental health services to people and space to go, like when dangerous weather moves in. People are getting clean and sober, going back to school, acquiring job skills, and saving money and paying off credit card debt, but then they are at a standstill because they cannot find a place to rent. Building a better continuum of care as the Metro works through a crisis. The project is paid by foundations and grants and continues to move through the approval process at Omaha City Hall. Live at the Open Door Mission, Alex McLoon, KETV News Watch 7.